Hey, 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 everybody. What's up, Zebrapreneurs? How are you guys doing? I have been gone from you for a few days, but I'm back. And I'm back with a vengeance. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to be talking about how to connect with influencers at live events. Without being a groupie, um, I don't know if one of the things, if you can resonate with this, uh, but when I started on my journey, one of the things that I was afraid of was coming off as someone that was annoying, a groupie, like I'm only there to connect with uh, people who may have a lot of followers or people who may have some influencers. And I always worried about that, which is why I stayed away, which is why I didn't put myself out there as fast as I should have or, you know, be as assertive as I should have in my business, all right? So today I want to talk to you guys about that a little bit. Um, it just goes perfectly with what's going on right now. Today was the last day of the Beacon Conference. It was amazing. Um, and after going through this weekend and being able to, you know, meet some influencers, meet some of my zebrapreneurs in person, meet some new people, expand my network. I think it's really important for you guys to understand this process, okay? There's a lot of people that show up at events um, and they show up at events just to meet the speakers or just to meet people who they look up to, which is great. But there's a process to this, especially the bigger, um, what I'm noticing, you know, the bigger someone is, is the more of a process there is when it comes to connecting with these people okay um so i'm just gonna do one quick thing because again like the last live i'm not there to check to see if i am live so cena can you please check and see if i'm live and if they can hear me because if not i'm gonna stop <laughs> so yeah so since you know in the spirit of the beacon conference happening i figured it was really important for us to talk about this, okay? Mm -hmm. So, I'm good? Okay, perfect. So, first thing, first first step, or first strategy, or whatever, first tip, um, is to become an active follower on social media before that event, okay? So, if there is an influencer that you have your heart set out to meet, there's someone you really wanna connect with or maybe collaborate with in the future, and you're going to a live event, it is very important to become an active follower on social media before the event, okay? Now, there's a difference between passive followers and active followers, okay? So let me explain the difference for you. Uh, when we're talking about passive followers, we're talking about people who come in, they follow you, they like, all right? Um, they read your post, they watch your videos, they come on your live stream, but that's it, all right? So you see their name as the influencer, you see their name, but they're more passive followers, all right? And then we have active followers, and you need to become an active follower if you want to get the attention of an influencer. And an active follower doesn't just follow and like, but they comment, all right, and they genuinely comment because they actually, you know, they are inspired by this person. They share, okay? They leave testimonials or they leave little reviews of anything they may have tried or, you know, they, they may have tried a free strategy and they'll leave a comment on the post and say, you know, I tried your strategy and it really worked. Thank you so much. So these are some of the things that you want to do to start really, really getting the attention of influencers before you meet them. So you don't come off as someone that's just out to meet a person just to meet a person. Um, you want to choose your influencers influencers wisely and in the same way you're choosing your influencers wisely you want to make sure that you are taking the necessary steps you don't want to come off as a user you don't want to come off as someone who ju who's just out for attaching themselves to someone that's coming up you do not want to come off as that and trust me people can tell when that's what you're about okay all right now the second thing, after whoever's here, please drop your name so I could say what's up to you and thank you for the likes. Um, 
So the second thing, after becoming an active follower with someone, you want to go a step further now and I would say maybe study them. You want to study them before you meet them. Like I met so many influencers this week, but I strategically, like I knew exactly what I wanted to talk about to each person. And when influencers meet you live, they don't have time for our conversations. Unfortunately, there are five other people standing around them. There are other people that need their attention too. So they want to be able to have quick 10 minute conversations with everyone, right? So that way they can get to know their peeps right but they can't do that if you didn't study them if you don't know what you're approaching them for so you can approach an influencer and say hey you know I'm gonna make up a name hi my name is Catherine and I've been following you on social media for a really long time and I just want to say you inspire me that's great but as a coach my job is to tell you that you want to make an instant connection for your business which means that you need to know what you want to do with this person. Do you want to do a collaboration webinar? Okay, well, what does this person teach? So when you approach them now, you can say, you know, you inspire me. I've been following you for a long time. You inspire me. And as I was watching your last live stream, I realized that I have something that you may find interesting too. I think we would do good on a webinar on this topic. Now you have an influencer paying attention. All right. Your number one job is to grow. Your number one job is to attach yourself to different influencers and, you know, learn grow network right but you need to do it genuinely okay you need to do it genuinely um this was something that i was worried about uh before i came to the Beacon conference i said you know being that i'm in this position now and yeah god is blessing me i don't want to come off as I'm not going to speak to people. I don't want to come off as, oh, I'm too big to speak to people. But then in the same token, I was on a panelist. Uh, I was on a panelist. I was, I was a panelist today. And one of the ladies that was with me as a fellow panelist said something that really stuck with me. And what she said was, when you start growing in your business, it gets so overwhelming that you kind of have to put a little gap between people because you'll find yourself coaching in, in DMs, you'll find yourself, you know, standing up for three hours at events, talking to people, especially when you're a transformational coach because you care about people, you want to listen to them. So you, what she said is, I had to put a little gap. But I didn't really like that gap. And when she said that, it really hit me because I felt the same way because I'm such a people person and I'm really all about my divapreneurs and the We Win movement. I never wanted anyone to feel like, oh, I'm getting so big that I can't speak or, I, you know, I can't listen. But it does get overwhelming. And the, the truth is, it does get overwhelming. So I want you guys to go with intention. Don't just go to talk. What do you want? There's this young lady, her name is, I wanna say Marsha, and if I'm messing it up, I'm so sorry. She's the founder of Woman on the Rise New York, and she approached me today, but she approached me with an idea, with an event that's coming up that she, know, I, she knew I would be interested in because of the fact that I own a women's empowerment company as well. So now I'm like, yeah, I would love to share your flyer. I would love to share your movement. But she came intentionally. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? You need to have intentions. So let's go over the two steps again. Number one, you need to be an active follower. And what's the difference between an active follower and a passive follower? A passive follower comes on your videos, they'll like, they'll follow, but they will not comment. They'll watch, but they won't, you know, make themselves known, okay? An active follower makes themselves known. They comment, they share, they leave testimonials, they leave reviews, they get the influencer's attention. Before I came to this event, every single influencer that I wanted to connect with, I sent messages to, I was already following them on social media, so that's good, and I was already very active, but I also sent messages, and I said, you know, I'm so happy that I'm gonna be able to meet you in person, I can't wait to see you. That's another thing, getting their attention, so when they see you, it's not like you're foreign, you're a stranger, okay? So the second thing we talked about is 
studying the person, knowing what their business is about and having intentions when you're approaching them, knowing what you would like to do with them. Even if it's to join their program, that can be it too. But you want to be able to say that because so many people are approaching them and you want to be able to stand out. What I want to encourage you guys to do is have intentions in your business. My girl said to me this weekend, well, she didn't say it to me. I overheard her talking to her boyfriend. I'm putting on her on blast because she's right here listening. <laughs> I overheard her talking to her boyfriend and she was like, yo, Niola came like a whole football player. I'm talking about strategies. <laughs> And I'm like, well, it wasn't really strategic, but it was. You know what I mean? Because I know what I stand for and I know my values and I know the type of people that I want to collaborate with. And when I seen the lineup, I said, you know what? I know exactly what I want to do with each person. And I'm going to go with intention and speak to them and connect with them. And that is exactly what I did. So you guys know I got a lot of surprises coming. Um, so anyway, I want those of you who are on the replay, Tap up the screen, like, add some people to the group with permission, with permission, if you think that they need this information. And if you have any questions regarding what actions you should take when you go to these type of live events, how you should get influencers' attention, or even if you want me to come back with some more brand-specific uh, strategies for you I want you to write it down so I can you know come back and bring the information okay Lenitra is saying here um, how about when you are at a networking event with a lot of influencers who are just in attendance so you don't know that they are there ahead of time how do you approach them then oh that's a very good question Lenitra so one thing um, and this may not sound right, but y'all know I have to keep it real, right? One thing is most influencers just don't show up at events, okay? There are certain events that are influencer events, all right? And you'll know when they're going because they'll be liking the picture. They may share it because they are friends with the host, right? So they may share the flyer. They may use the hashtag. Now, if there is a case where that doesn't happen, because sometimes that can happen, right, Lenitra? If there's the case, then I want you to at least, when you see them in the audience, get on your phone, do some research, follow, send a DM and say, OMG, I'm in the building with you. I love what you're doing. I want to catch up with you at the end. My goal for you guys here is for you to, for me to teach you how to get attention, how to get attention from these people without seeming like you just want attachments. You see what I'm saying? Because it's okay to get attachments, but you don't want the name as someone that's all about that. Do you get what I'm saying, Lenitra? Tap up the screen if you, if that helped. Tap up the screen if that helped for you. Okay, so you guys have any other questions? That was a really, really good one. I have some people on. I want you guys to just drop your name if you want me to say hello. If you don't want me to know you're here, that's okay. But I love to be able to say hello to my people. So drop your name and uh, let's see if there's anything else. So there's nothing else here. Okay, so I hope that you guys got something from this. I'm not staying long because I'm getting ready to go downstairs and have a drink or two. It has been the weekend. It has been a long weekend. An amazing and inspirational one, um, but long, but real long. And this is my last night without the kids and without the husband. You know how that go, right? So <laughs> I'm going to stay up late without any work and I'm going to have a few drinks. Um, and, um, uh, and then I'll go to sleep before I have to get back home and do the mommy duties. Tomorrow's daddy's day. Tomorrow's father's day. So I'm going to take my husband out to dinner since I kind of like bailed. So there's no breakfast tomorrow morning for him. And I don't know why these men think they get the same thing. I mean, they are wonderful dads. Let me not take away their credit. But I mean, they don't do all the work we do. That's why mother's day get more... <laughs> Sorry, dads, if you're listening. Um, anyway, guys, so I'll see you all later. Again, on the replay, if you have any questions, I'll definitely come back and answer you guys' questions, okay? Bye and good night.